This is Brad's mother. Can I get a reply? Oh, is it Amanda? Hi, this is Sarah. Let me ask you something. You're dating Brad, right? Yes, I am. I'm sorry it took a while to let you know, but Brad and I have been dating for five years. For five years? You've been fooling around with Brad for that long? That's unbelievable! I wasn't fooling around with Brad for five years. I've been dating Brad because we love each other. What? How could you say you love each other? What? You're just after our money, aren't you? You're so obvious about what you really want. Excuse me? We've already found out that you're from a paternal family. You didn't grow up in a wealthy family. That's why you're after our wealth, isn't it? What do you mean? My husband and son both work for prestigious companies. My husband is the most prestigious of the prestigious. He even made it to managing director. I'm sure Brad will follow his footsteps. I don't understand what you're saying. It means we'll never have any money problems. For you, a father and daughter who have been living in poverty, what could make you happy? You could be a housewife without worrying about money. Well, with all due respect, I might not have a mother, but we're not poor. My father has worked hard and diligently. We have nothing to worry about. Please don't talk about my family like that. You're such a brazen woman. Just because you don't want to give up Brad? Anyway, you should break up with him. I'm not going to let it fly if you waste our money. I won't let that happen. I love Brad with all my heart. I have no intention of breaking up with him. Listen to yourself. You and Brad are not meant for each other. I'll find the right woman for him. And that's definitely not you. I think it's up to him to decide who he wants to be with. What is that supposed to mean? Are you saying that he chose you because he wanted to? He says he loves me too. He said he's thinking of getting married with me. Oh my gosh. How could you say such nonsense? I'm not lying. Then you tricked him into marrying you. I did no such thing. There is no way Brad would have chosen you, a woman who grew up in a paternal home. Anyway, I want you to break up with him immediately. I'm sorry, but I can't do that no matter what you say. Huh? Brad and I love each other. We're talking about getting married, so I have no intention of leaving him. What? What a brazen and stubborn woman you are. I will never approve you for getting married with my son, you know? Then I will do my best to get your approval. No matter how hard you try, no amount of effort will erase the fact that you're a poor woman from a motherless family. I suppose that's why you grew up to be a brazen woman. Please, don't speak ill of my father. I grew up watching my father as he worked all his life. I respect my father. I can see from your brazenness that your father's parenting was a failure. I cannot accept such a woman as Brad's wife. If I ever see you with Brad again, that's when you'll be sorry. Oh my goodness.
Many things happened in the last 10 years, but we can finally make our dream come true. That's right. We've been together for 10 years already. We're already like a married couple. That's right. But we're going to be a real married couple now. I can't wait to have kids and have our family. Yeah, me too. I'm very excited to be with you. I'm very excited to be with you too. We both became a family without a mother in the past 10 years. But I'm sure both of our fathers would be happy. I'm sure they will. My father is very grateful to you and your father. He really appreciates it. I want to express my appreciation as well. Oh, no need to do that. I'm the one who's always grateful for your help. By the way, about Amanda, what are you going to do about the wedding? Oh, I don't keep in touch with her anymore since they got divorced five years ago. So I'm not planning to tell her anything. Of course, I'm not going to invite her to the wedding either. Dad thinks so too. I see. Isn't it obvious? After what she said to you? I know. I didn't know what to do when she came to the office shouting at me. You should break up with my son. There's an insane woman at this company or something like that. That would be a disaster. Well, it's a funny story now. I have nothing to do with her anymore, so I'll never get involved with her again. I see, I understand. Well then, let's get ready for the wedding of her dreams. Right. Tell your aunt I said hi, okay? Yeah, okay. Hey! I told you to break up with Brad. And why are you having a wedding? I'll never forgive you. Amanda, was it you who grabbed my arm and dragged me out of the ceremony hall? You hurt my leg. That's good to hear. What were you thinking, not telling me about the wedding? That's Brad and his father's decision. What? What do you mean? I'm Brad's mother. Yes, but he said he broke off the relationship with you. Broke off the relationship? Well, poor guy. He must have felt that way. There's no way I would break up myself from my adorable son. No, no, no. And you? I saw it with my own eyes. So what? You and my ex-husband were walking happily alone together, weren't you? Both of you in suits, in the middle of the day? I won't allow you to marry Brad, who cheats on him with my ex-husband. That's... That's very brave of you to have an affair on the job. You're such a prude. I can't let Brad marry a woman like you. Give me back my husband and son. You were divorced from your ex-husband. He's not your husband anymore. You have no right to tell me that. Sleeping with the father of the son you promised to marry? I don't want to be talked down by such a despicable woman. Wait a minute. I'm not a despicable woman. I'm not having an affair. Are you still trying to lie to me? How brazen can you be? That's what I'm talking about, a woman who came from a paternal family. What's so bad about coming from a paternal family? Because you grew up poor as a motherless child, didn't you? That's why you grew up to be such a lowly woman. Please, stop making fun of my father. He's the person I respect most in this world. 
Ever since my mother died of illness, I can't tell you how hard my father worked. An arrogant person like you would never understand my father. Whatever. Anyway, no matter what you say, I won't approve of your marriage to Brad. I won't let you marry someone who has an affair with my ex-husband and cheats on Brad. Amanda. Oh, yes. I forgot to tell you. The waiting room was unlocked, so I left your dress in tatters. Huh? What a thing to do, Amanda. Well, I guess you'll have to cancel today's wedding, huh? And you and Brad are going to break up. Now the despicable woman's plans are all ruined. Amanda. That's how it's going to be. Well then, have a nice day. Brad, where are you? Sarah, what's up? I'm almost at the wedding, but I got a weird text from my mom. I just pulled into a parking lot at a nearby supermarket. Amanda was just at the wedding venue. What? Seriously? On the text, she was asking why we didn't let her know about the wedding. How did she know about our wedding? She just happened to meet a friend of mine from high school, and they talked about it. I never told my friend that my parents were divorced. I see. She also said, I don't approve of your marriage to Sarah. Call it off. Oh, wow. As I was about to enter the entrance, she came out of nowhere and grabbed my arm from behind and dragged me out of there. What? Are you okay? I scraped my leg and there was blood everywhere. My aunt is treating the wound right now. She said she can use a concealer to take care of it by the time of the ceremony. Does it hurt? A little, so I'm trying to cool it down. But I'm sure it'll get better. But the worst part is, Amanda messed up my dress. What do you mean? She wrote terrible graffiti with black marker on my wedding dress. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my, what are we going to do? My aunt is doing everything she can to help me right now. She said she'd take care of it, so I think I can handle it. Okay. Anyway, I'll hurry up and head to the ceremony. I'll be there soon, so just hang in there. Okay, I'll see you soon. Hey, Sarah. How are you feeling now that your wedding has been ruined? Well, I guess you deserved it. Don't ever think of marrying Brad. The wedding and reception went without a problem. Brad and I are now husband and wife. What? What do you mean? I made it impossible for you to wear the dress. Besides, your feet were covered in blood. My aunt is a wedding planner at that wedding hall. What? That's why we chose this venue. Thanks to her quick response, she was able to get another dress. Of course, it wasn't the dress I originally wanted to wear. But thanks to the efforts of all the staff, we had a beautiful wedding. I was very touched. And that bloody leg? My aunt took care of that too. She immediately cooled it down and once the bleeding stopped, she used concealer to make my legs look beautiful. I can't thank her enough for everything she did for me. Wait a minute. You are my ex-husband's lover. You can't be allowed to marry Brad. You have to break up this marriage for that reason. Your ex-husband works for me. Huh? 
What did you say? Five years ago, right after you two got divorced, his company went bankrupt. What? I didn't know about that. Well, it happened after the divorce. He said there was no need to let you know. That's a lie. He's risen to the position of managing director. It's true, Mom. Brad, why are you with Sarah? I married Sarah. We're supposed to be together. What do you mean your father's company went bankrupt? It's because of the recession. The recession hit and the business went south. Oh, no. But what do you mean he works for Sarah? That woman is really brazen. You're the one being brazen, aren't you? Listen to yourself. After my father lost his job, it was Sarah who hired him. Why her? She hired him to work for her because she was in the same line of work. I'm sure he'd be a great asset to the company. Huh? A layman like Sarah shouldn't have that kind of authority, does she? She's the one who talked to her father. What do you mean? The president of her company is her father. What? That's the first I've heard of that. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? I tried to explain to you many times, but you wouldn't listen to me, calling her a daughter of a poor father. Oh! Thanks to Sarah and her father, he is now able to work. He owes Sarah and her father a lot. Oh, that's why she had the affair. Huh? I saw it. Sarah and your father were walking in broad daylight. They were having an affair because they work at the same company. What are you talking nonsense? Dad was making the rounds with Sarah. They were going around to their clients' companies, greeting them and introducing him as a new employee. What's with the affair? Are you out of your mind? Huh? Greeting? That's right. Now, Dad is assigned to the section where Sarah works. So Dad's boss is Sarah. Huh? Sarah is his boss? How can someone who made it all the way to executive director be subordinate to a woman like that? That's impossible. You are definitely out of your mind. If it wasn't for Sarah, Dad wouldn't have gotten the job, okay? Do you think he can lose his job at his age and expect to find one soon? Dad was so grateful to Sarah and her father. No way. Besides, you and Dad are divorced. You have nothing to do with us. And you tried to ruin our wedding. I'll never forgive you. Wait a minute. I didn't know anything about this. And I want to get back together with your father again. I'm sure your father feels the same way. Of course not. Dad's not happy about what you did at the wedding either. He said he can't forgive you for being so heartless. He said that? He said if you come any closer to us, he'll take legal action. I don't consider you as my mother either. We're done. Done? I'm the real mother who gave birth to you. Why do you say such horrible things? What kind of mother are you? A mother wants her son to be happy, and you're trying to destroy that happiness. I don't consider you a mother. Don't ever contact me again. Don't you even think about it. If you ever come near Sarah, I won't hesitate to call the police. Bye. Hey Brad, wait a minute. If you abandon me, I'll be all alone. Amanda... That's how it is. His father works for the same company as me. 
I'm relying on him as my senior in the same industry. Although, in a manner of speaking, he is my subordinate. The idea that my husband is your subordinate gives me goosebumps. I know. But he is a very talented man. I'm sure he will be an executive in the near future. Well, that's for my father to decide. I never knew your father was a company president. How could you keep it from me? I tried to tell you many times. But you were the one who broke off the conversation every time, remember? I told you that I always respected my father, didn't I? That's because I've watched him work hard as the president of a company. So when I graduated from college... I didn't hesitate to go to work for my father's company. I don't know anything about that. I had been watching my father since I was a little girl. After joining the company, I have steadily risen through the ranks and am now a section manager. I'm going to be promoted to department manager in the near future. Manager? At such a young age? I don't think age has anything to do with it. I'm very grateful for the help I'll be getting from your ex-husband. Are you rubbing my husband the wrong way? No, I'm just asking his advice. When we were out and about, we had time to talk privately. He mentioned about you too. What did he say? Did he say he wants to get back with me? I heard that you had a habit of spending a lot of money. What? You never worked after marriage. You spent all the money on fashion, food, vacations. He said that no matter how hard he worked, his life never got better. I don't think. I don't think so. When his suit was torn, he couldn't get a new one. Even when his shoes were worn out, he had to wear them until they were worn out. He was embarrassed every day when he went to work. Oh no, was that so? Almost every day he had to buy prepared food from the supermarket. He said it was very inconvenient for Brad who was growing up. He even went on an overseas trip with your lover. I can't believe he said that much. At that time, his company was in financial trouble, and he was having a hard time. Finally, he ran out of patience and decided to divorce you. He talked to Brad about it, and he told him to do that. I had never heard of this story until he told me. Even Brad? I don't think he wants to get back with you no matter what. Perhaps you were dumped by your unfaithful partner? Or you are in financial trouble because you have spent too much money? You may have thought about getting back together with him, but that is not possible. No. He also said, I never want to see your face again. That's not good. I have no money to live on. I have no one to help me. Oh, you got that right. Sarah, you're my ex-husband's boss, aren't you? Then order him to get back together with me, please. Huh? I'm his boss only because of my title at work. In my private life, I'm his daughter-in-law. I can't give him an order like that. Then convince him to get back together with me. In exchange for allowing you to marry Brad, you should at least do that. I will refuse to do that. I'm a stranger to you because Brad and I both broke off the relationship with you. There's no way you would do such a thing. Don't say that. If I get back together with that man, we will be mother and daughter, won't we? It's your duty as a wife to help your mother-in-law. Mother-in-law?
You? Don't be silly. Me, Brad, and his father. We are people who have nothing to do with you. I don't care how you live from now on. Oh, no. I'm really in trouble. At least, lend me some money? I refuse. Anyway, please do not contact me at all in the future. How can I help you if you do such a terrible thing to me on my wedding day? You are too insane. Don't say that. I apologize for everything I've done. Please! If you ever contact me or come to see me in the future, I will take an appropriate action. My company has a competent lawyer. Lawyer? Yes, and we will also charge you a fee for the wedding, so please be aware of that. What fee? You ruined the dress I was supposed to wear. And because of that, my staff had to do more work than planned. I was so sorry. I told them that they should charge the maximum fee from you. Oh no! I told you I have no money! That's not my problem. Then I'm going to block all your contacts. Brad told me to tell you that. Don't ever get involved with us again. Sarah! Have a nice day. After Amanda got divorced, she was so happy with her share of the property. So then, she was living a life of spending money with her unfaithful partner. And when she finally ran out of money, the partner dumped her and left her penniless. And that's when she came up with the idea of getting back together with her ex-husband. How convenient for her to be with a family after putting them through so much trouble. I was deeply disgusted by her attitude of trying to carry out her own ego by taking away other people's happiness. After that, she found the factory where she could live and work in order to pay the alimony in installments. It would be impossible for her to earn enough money to play around. I want her to spend the rest of her life alone and sober. Under the guidance of my father, who is the president of the company, and with the help of my father-in-law, I am continuing to do well at work. In my private life, I've decided to move in with my father-in-law, and Brad and I are living happily together.